Hello, it's me James, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Survival. This is the series where I like to show you tip tricks and tutorials, and of course, I like to do this in complete survival. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to find chunks and chunk borders in survival Minecraft. Now, for anyone who doesn't know what a chunk is, chunks basically make up the world. This one here is a completely empty chunk, as you can see all the way down to the void we've literally got nothingness and it goes all the way up to the sky as you can see uh oh yeah i wasn't supposed to do that but for a better visual representation of a chunk we can actually go over here to my monoliths did i say that right i think so now let me show you one of my personal favorite ones which is just this one which is full of water for the most part as you can see and this is a full chunk that has just been elevated above the ground. For anyone wondering how I did this, it's a glitch I did a fairly long time ago. So I'll put the video in the description below if you really want to know. But yeah, you can see that these give you a better visual representation of chunks. Everything inside this little area here is its own chunk. Same for this one. Same for this one. And of course, as it gets to the bigger section, they start linking together again. As I said, each one of these chunks make up your entire world. And I would say it is fairly important to know how to find them in survival Minecraft. So I'm going to be showing you 10 ways on how you can do that right now. Now, the first method on the list is my personal favorite. It is quick. It is easy. However, there is a downside. If you are a PC or a mobile player, you can use this method really easily. However, if you're on console or any other device, Device, it's pretty hard to actually do this now if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm talking about texture packs this is a really easy way to find out where chunks are i use mad hatter's texture pack and you can see i'm standing on this chunk and it is perfectly showing me where the chunk is when i turn around uh yeah it doesn't work but when i stand in this perspective it does work so i can just go to the corner block and mark it out and do so all the way around the outside as i said this method is my personal favorite method and to be honest with you this pack is my personal favorite pack there are many other packs that you might find however like i said yeah this one i've always just used it and uh yeah it's pretty good to activate this one all you have to do is have fireworks in your offhand and then go into either this perspective or yeah this perspective so yeah method number two is chunk base this is another external method i am going to show some more survival methods during this video do not worry although for the most part this website is really really easy to find chunks not only does it find chunks but it also allows you to find different structures as well so you can literally click all these and it will show you where the structures are i'm actually turning them off right now what i'm going to do is actually deselect all of them and deselect all of them and i'm just gonna put on slime chunks all right and then when i zoom in the more i zoom in you can see yeah this will show me exactly where the slime chunks are so i can click this and basically we've got a really good map of where the chunks are now this in itself i mean it looks a little bit confusing how to work it out another great feature of this you can turn on grid lines down here look and yeah it literally shows you the other chunks so every single one of these is a chunk you can see you've got the coordinates here and here and for what it's worth i think every slime chunk formation on bedrock worlds are the same now i'm sure someone's going to correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure yeah that's all right so, method number two is to use chunk base. For number three, we have a full survival method, and all you're going to need to perform this is some leaves and some shears. In fact, you don't even need the shears, really. I mean, it could help you get the leaves, but they are also going to be used to update the blocks. So, what you're going to want to do is go 20 blocks in one direction, or over 20 blocks. A little bit like that. And then I'm going to come to the end like this, and then I'm going to go 20 blocks in the other direction as well. The reason I've gone 20 blocks in each direction is because that is well over a chunk. And now what we're going to want to do is go into the settings and go into the video settings. And you see here, it says fancy leaves. I'm going to turn those off, and we're going to walk back up to the leaves with the shears and basically click the M1. And you can see that they have transformed into non-fancy leaves. But if we continue all the way up the line, it hasn't actually continued all the way. The reason being is because this is a chunk border. And now we know this information, what I'm gonna do is actually place a leaf here like that. And then it will update again. And we're going to go all the way around here. And you can see here again is another chunk border. So now what I'm going to do is place another block here. And then simply link the leaves up like this. And this corner right here will be the corner of a chunk. I can prove that by putting on a texture pack. So you can see we're standing on a corner here. 
and if I stand here, we're on another chunk. Now, you might want to put this one just a little bit further in because that might get a little bit confusing. But you can see you can easily decipher where chunks are just via using leaves and the fancy leaves setting. Next up, we got the armor stand method. All you need is an armor stand, maybe a spy glass so you can see a little bit better, but for the most part, you actually don't need this. It just helps out a little bit and some solid blocks so you can mark out where the chunk border is once you've found it. I'm gonna place the armor stand just there and we're gonna basically start walking backwards like this and soon enough, the armor stand will disappear. And that is, of course, why I've got the spyglass, so we can keep an eye on it. But, uh, yeah, you can't walk backwards whilst you're using the spyglass. And I've got to be careful because I've literally got a ravine here. So, if I continue to walk backwards, you can kind of see that now the armor sand is completely gone. If I walk forward again, you can kind of see it reappears. So, walk backwards, it goes. Forwards, it reappears. I'm going to use the spyglass so you can see that. It's very slow. You see that? How it disappeared and reappears disappears and reappears basically we know now that this here is our chunk border so this right here is a chunk border so you can mark it out like that and just for proof you can see here that this is a chunk border now to find the full chunk you would just do this in both directions next up we've got yet another super simple method of finding chunks in survival minecraft and that method is of course locator maps now every map you use is going to be chunk aligned all you need to do to find the chunks is head towards a corner now i'm reasonably close to a corner right here i think if i get any closer i'm going to walk out so what i'm going to do is place some blocks here and just see where they come right we need to go two more blocks this way so right here you know, an easier way of doing this would just be to put that in your offhand. You can kind of see it like that. It's really hard to see if it is in your offhand, actually. So I'd rather just swap so you've got a little bit more. So all we need to do at this point, now we found the end. At least I think it's the end. So to find the end, all you need to do is look back. So it's three blocks in. So that's one, two, and three. And then we're going to remove these. And then just to confirm, you can see that they're still there. But if we remove this one... You can see that we're one pixel short now, right? So we're going to replace that one. And we're going to go 16 blocks in that direction. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. At this point, I've gone 16 blocks in that direction, as you can see, via the map. And now all we're going to do is go 16 blocks facing north. And north is where the arrow faces the top of the map. So, including this one, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. At this point, we can literally just link these up. So, I'm going to remove this, and we're going to go all the way across, linking this gravel up like that. And then all the way across here. And, of course, we're a few blocks short. How many blocks are we short? Two blocks for what it's worth i'm not even going to fill that in you can see here that we've got a full square on the map now and if i were to just grab my texture pack which is this you can see that we have accurately managed to see where a chunk is just by using a locator map so another thing you could actually do is go to zero zero in your world and kind of like use that as a template to do this method you are going to need coordinates on and to do that you're going to need to go into settings and it's in the game settings we're going to go down and it's just here show coordinates it's not a cheat you can have them on whenever you want i choose to have them on all the time oh i just literally hit myself with my mic so all i'm going to do is build up just so i'm on a round number or just like above that anyway and all you simply need to do with this method is count so like this way for example it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven ah damn it 11 12 13 14 15 16 this right here is a chunk border and once you've marked out 16, it's really quite simple. In each direction, you simply look at the coordinates and see where it says 16. So if I go this way, like this, I literally need to go until the coordinates say 16. So I went to 17, but it's literally just on this one. And of course, if I was going backwards, it would be minus 16. So on here, I'd go like this. All the way to minus 16. Again, I did an extra one. But right now, let's just mark out that chunk. At this point, once I've just gone to 16, 16, all I want to do is link up the chunk. 
Of course, it's really easy to do so because you just got to look where that bit is and then link it up. And once again, we can prove that this is a chunk by simply using the texture pack. It looks pretty good. Another simple way in survival. Next up, we've got another simple survival method. We're going to go into the settings and we're going to go ahead and turn our render distance all the way down. So I'm going to go to video and all the way down here, it will say, you see this? render distance we're going to turn that all the way down and it will say five chunks i think that's the same on every single device now my world is literally just so small oh damn that is crazy what i'm going to do is start nerd polling up and yeah we're going to go up into the sky i should probably mention you're going to want about i don't know how many stacks actually uh, a few stacks at the least you can see i've got all of this in my hotbar now once you've started nerd polling high enough you will start to see the chunk start to reveal themselves you can see here kind of like there is a chunk that's revealed itself if we go ahead and get the spyglass out yeah you can easily see that that is a chunk on that corner i bet that that is a chunk completely and i think the higher you go uh, yeah, the more chunks and the more easy it becomes to reveal the chunks. So right here, you see, it is literally going to get smaller and smaller and more chunks will start revealing themselves. So there, I know literally about three blocks away from that is the corner of a chunk. Or for example, I could use this. So I know four blocks away from this little L-shaped piece of grass is a chunk or the start of a chunk. In fact, no, let's actually use that bit. So we know there's two bits there. So I'm going to assume that's four bits. So on the fourth bit, that is going to be the corner. We're going to go 16 in this direction and then 16 across. And then we're going to link it up and then we'll use the pack to see if it's right. So that's four away from this little L-shaped piece of grass. Of course, when you come back down, the chunks will start to load. That's why you need something to look at. Now, I think it's this one. So that's one, two, three, and four. So we're going to use this as the corner, and then we're going to go 16 blocks in that direction. Once you've done that, you, of course, want to go 16 blocks in that direction. And once you've done that, you're free to link those up, like so, as you can see. And now we can confirm we found a chunk by simply using the pack like so and apparently i've added one extra on this side so yeah it's always worth double counting that you've uh, made the right amount of blocks but yeah for the most part it is pretty accurate next up we've got the mob method and to do this i'm actually gonna need a mob so i'm gonna go over here because i know i've got a pink sheep in this little barricade so let's go grab this pink sheep and it can assist me hello let me grab this guy come on let's go basically what i'm gonna do is enclose this pink sheep in this little thing here if i can get it to stay in there so i've just got to trap it in i'm going to use dirt and a combination of wood come on there we go now it's trapped in and it cannot get out once again i'm going to use my spyglass but this is not actually required it just makes things a little bit easier now i'm going to walk in this direction preferably facing the sheep once again i'm going to actually turn my render distance up from the other one because it doesn't really matter about this one right now you can just go back to your normal render distance and yeah i'm going to continue to walk backwards and soon enough we will see that sheep disappear so you can see that we can see the sheep right now but if i continue to walk backwards as i said soon enough it will disappear this is how we know that we're standing on a chunk border so if i just look up a little bit more you see that the sheep's there and the sheep's gone the sheep's there and the sheep is gone once again we have found out that this here is the chunk border what you're going to want to do then is simply mark it out like so we can confirm that with the pack as you can see for the penultimate method on this list all you need is the coordinates turned on in your world and a calculator what i'm going to do is go to a random spot in my world I think this spot right here will be perfect so first step is to take note of the first number which for me is 282 and then we want to go over to the calculator in the calculator you want to put 28 two and then divide that by 16 now if you get a number like this you're going to want to round that up so it's 18 and if you're in a decimal place you want to round it down but for me i rounded it up and i got 18 i'm going to times this one by 16 and that right there is a chunk border so i'm going to take this number 288 I'm going to jump back into Minecraft and I'm simply going to walk to 288. And this right here would be a chunk border. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and removed what I think the chunk border will be. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that this is in fact a chunk border and put my texture pack on 
and there we go. Just using the coordinates and a calculator, we are simply able to find a chunk border. On to the next one. And last but no means least, we've got the redstone method. A pretty easy method, to be fair. All you need is a lever, torch, couple pieces of cobblestone to solid blocks, one repeater, one redstone lamp, and a piece of redstone dust. First of all, I'm going to put my redstone lamp on the floor. One side, I'm going to have a redstone torch, and the other side, I'm going to have a redstone dust. Now, on top, we're going to face the redstone dust, place down our repeater, and click it twice, like so, and our solid blocks are going to go on there and there. And as you can see, because we clicked it twice, it will make a nice flashing like this. Now, I mean, I suppose it's okay that it's nighttime. This method will still work. Once again, we can use the spyglass if we so choose. But for what it's worth, we don't really need to. We can just go backwards like this. And what we are aiming for is the light to stop flashing. Once the light has stopped flashing, we will be on a chunk border. I mean, the only downside to doing it at night is, uh, yeah, there's mobs everywhere. So we're just going to walk backwards. There is also a wolf blocking my light. Ah, the wolf's gone. What the? All right, there was a wolf blocking my light, I'm sure. So yeah, as I said, I'm just going to continue to walk backwards. I mean, I've got to be careful not to go in my ravine. And there we go. The light stopped. If I go forward, it continues to light up. Let me just make it a flat surface so I can go completely back with my spyglass on. So you can see down there, if I continue to go backwards, the light will eventually just stay on and stop flashing. That is because we are on a chunk border. So this right here is the chunk border. Again, you're going to want to mark this thing out like that. And once again, we can confirm this is a chunk border by the chunk pack. Let's just have a look. There we go. So yeah, when you can see it flashing, you're in a chunk. And when it stops flashing, you are also in a chunk. So there we go. There are my 10 simple methods on how to find chunks and chunk borders in survival Minecraft. Remember, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Now that is all I've got time for today. I will catch you on the next one.